Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Ugly Duckling House and welcome back to my channel. I've got a new DIY project for you today and I think it's gonna make your guests a lot happier. Let's face it, no one likes a smelly bathroom and it's even worse when you're a guest in someone else's home and it's not quite. In my case, the guest bathroom is right at the top of the stairs, so it tends to get used for more than just guest sleepovers. It's the perfect spot to wash off grime when you don't want to take it all the way into the master bathroom. That also tends to be the tub we use for washing the dogs. So I started brainstorming ways to get rid of lingering smells, and I think I came up with a solution. I also want to thank Zep for sponsoring this video and providing us with some cleaning products that helped with this project. In today's video, I'm sharing the details for how I made this DIY bathroom deodorizer. It has a hidden back drawer for baking soda and essential oils and a dried eucalyptus bouquet up top that can double as an aromatherapy bouquet in the shower. I started with a thin piece of white ash and cut three sides all of the same length. I wanted to use a bevel on the front two corners, but the pieces were really narrow and I didn't feel safe getting my fingers so close to the blade on those angled cuts. I tried adding pressure and extending my hand placement by using another block of wood, but I still had a little movement on my first attempt at cutting. So, I added some tape to keep things more secure. I first applied some painter's tape to keep it easy to remove from the wood without residue. Then, some super sticky carpet tape that would create a strong bond between the piece I was trying to cut and the scrap piece I was using to hold everything in place. I found that if I placed and removed the layers of tape carefully, I could peel it off and reuse it for another cut. Next, I glued up the first three sides. I was kind of winging it as I went though, so I again used some tape to help hold the pieces together as they dried. The tape served as a way to sort of tether the pieces together, but not clamp them too tight where the corners might separate or slip up or down. I've since created some plans for this project that you can download for free at UglyDucklingHouse.com. I then cut a shorter piece for the back and glued it in place and did some initial sanding once that all dried. Next, I created a tiny box out of some Luan. Come to think of it, it's actually the first drawer I've ever made. I plan to change that soon, of course, but at this scale, perfection is not really necessary, and this entire piece stays hidden about 99% of the time. I took a few more pieces of scrap and glued them in just before where the drawer is going to slide in. This is the area that's gonna hold my eucalyptus bundle. It was important to secure this from the top instead of from underneath so that the drawer could slide in and out without running into those supports. I painted and attached a face to the drawer and created a tiny drawer handle from one of the off cuts from when I beveled the corners earlier. With most of the piece now glued and drying, I created a eucalyptus bundle with some twine. I've seen these made all over Pinterest using fresh greenery, but I didn't have the time or patience to run out and get a new eucalyptus bouquet just for my video. When I have a guest, I'll replace it, but for now, the dried version with a little essential oil sprinkled on will do. To ensure that the baking soda in the bottom drawer and the essential oils can get some airflow, I drilled some decorative yet functional holes into the bottom area in all three sides of my piece. These were placed randomly, but creating a pattern is also fine. I did a final sanding step and noticed a small imperfection in one of the corners. I hid this by taking some wood glue, mixing it with some of the sawdust I'd just created, and sanding it smooth. It worked like a charm. And then I applied simple finish and completed the piece. I normally don't share all of the behind the scenes prep work that it takes to create a finished blog post and video. But as you might imagine, DIY projects lead to washing off project grime, which leads to a grimy bathroom, so cleaning is an absolutely essential part of getting a nice close-up shot for a project like this. I felt kind of ridiculous just to clean the area around the toilet where I knew I was going to shoot, so I guilted myself into going ahead and cleaning up the rest of the bathroom while I was at it, and knocked out another task for the day. I've been using Zep shower tub and tile cleaner for a while now for this exact reason. It took care of things for me super fast. With the bathroom now ready for final shots, I filled in the baking soda tray to help control future odors, added some eucalyptus oil to bring in a relaxing scent, filled in the top with my greenery, and I was done. Now I have both a clean guest bathroom and a double duty bathroom deodorizer to keep things smelling fresh. All right, that'll do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you want more. 
I've got a few playlists on this channel now too, so be sure to check that out if you want more ideas. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.